Hey, this is Rick from Outdoor Emergencies at HikingEmergencyBeacon.com. And I just finished another battery test on the GPS map 67i. I've been really concerned about whether the battery was everything that Garmin says it is. And it is. But before I tell you about it, please like, subscribe, share, and turn on notifications so you'll be alerted as soon as I put out new videos. I will be conducting five tests. The first test was if I were using it normally and I'm out and I was out pretty much every day field testing and I turned it off at night and I had it on the GNS S mode and with 15 second backlight and um, I, I didn't have any power save modes other than that and, and that lasted uh, 80 hours or so. All of these tests are in a playlist with the 67i. But remember, that first test was me actively using it almost every day. So it's not going to get the same battery life if it's just sitting there. As an example, this second test, I had set it up the same way, the GNSS mode. And I had it on the 15 second backlight so that then they would, the screen would go dark. And I put it up in a window, had about one third view of the sky, big window. And I didn't actually go out and use it. It was during the test happened during the week. And so I didn't actually go out and use it. So it was just stationary. The battery got down to 18% after five days, actually five days in about three hours. It was 123 hours. And that was constant use, no turning off at night, clear view of the sky, at least a third view of the sky. Now I got down to 18%. So as you, if you've seen my other video, when, I, when I'm dealing with a battery, when I hit 20%, it's dead because I want to be able to use that satellite communicator to communicate with the search and rescue teams or family and friends if I'm in an emergency. So when you look at the numbers, I was losing about 15% of battery life per day. I had 18% less. It lasted five days. It would have made it a full six days. So when Garmin says that the battery will last 180, 185 hours, that's right on track with what I was getting because 180 or 185 hours is about six and a half days. I would have gotten a good six days and maybe hit that six and a half days. Now the battery would have been zeroed out and I would have been uncomfortable and wouldn't have liked it if I was stuck in the mountains. So there's not much else to say here. The battery is working as Garmin said it would on these first two tests. You can say, well, the first test didn't last that long. Yes, but I was using it every day a lot. Field testing, getting five, six videos in per day. So it wasn't going to last as long. This second test, just sitting there not doing anything, it lasted within give or take five hours. It lasted as Garmin said. So this is test number two that I just finished. I'm already working on the battery life test number three. This third test has a screen always on. It never goes dark and it's a normal brightness and I'm leaving it on day and night. Now I think this is only going to last two days probably that's just my initial guess but that's just leaving the device on all the time view the sky about one third view of the sky and the screen never goes dark that's the third test and i'm suspecting that'll be up here in about three days if you have any questions thoughts or advice please leave them below because the third not the third test the fourth test is going to be another long battery life test where it's just sitting there and i'm not using it but it'll be in gps mode the fifth test will be in expedition mode. Now, now that's supposed to last, I think about a month, roughly, if I remember right, it'll be on the screen as uh, far as what Garmin says it will do. But there will be five tests. I'm not planning on doing any more. What I really wanted to get out of these tests was to find out if the 67i's battery is everything Garmin said, because I didn't like the 66i at all as far as the battery. I would lose the battery in a day, day and a half. And when you're out in the mountains and you're on a long trip, if you don't have the ability to charge, that's just a no-go for me. So everything's working great. But again, leave comments below. Please like, subscribe, share, and turn on notifications so you'll be alerted as soon as I put out new videos. And I'll see you back here in the next video.